It's the mayor's pace lining up. At Tenover Century Invictus, Dusty Lane Sebastian, Melanie's Magic, Windermere, Best Man, Mick Dundee, JK Express. Here they come. Off stride getting away, Dusty Lane Sebastian into the turn they go, and it's Ed Quintanover to lead them out. Century and Victors will go second. Racing from third is Melanie's Magic coming up fourth on the outside. That is J.K. Express. At the rail in fifth, Windermere Best Man. Racing from sixth, that's Mick Dundee. And problems at the back for Dusty Lane Sebastian. The post-time favorite has taken himself out. Going to the opening quarter, and we had a leadership change. Century Invictus and the Blue Knight. Yous have taken over 28 and to the quarter. Racing second is Adkins, Hanover, Melanie's Magic third. That's J.K. Express fourth. Racing from fifth is Windermere Best Man. Then in sixth is Mick Dundee. Off stride at the back. Dusty Lane Sebastian. Down the stretch they approach the half mile. Century Invictus is halfway home. Adkins, Hanover second. Here comes Melanie's Magic. Up and on the move third. Racing fourth. That's J.K. Express. Windermere Best Man has fifth. Mick Dundee six. Trailing the field. Dusty Lane Sebastian 58 seconds flat for the half mile. Up the back stretch they go. Three quarters coming next as a team up front. But here is Melanie's Magic with the lead. Century and Victus now second. J.K. Express is third. Fourth at the rail actions and over. Windermere Best Man fifth. Mick Dundee six, three quarters in one, 26 and four, around the turn for the final time, down to an eighth to go, Century Invictus reclaiming the lead at the rail, Melanie Magic is second, JK Express is their third, Atkins Hanover fourth, on the wire next, Century Invictus and the Blue Knight chasing news. Second, from out of the clouds came Windermere, best man. We'll need a show photo. Time for the mile one, 56, three. Okay, here's the slow-mo for race number 10 from Red Shores in Charlottetown tonight. It was the mayor's pace. The Blue Knight got front here tonight, took on all challengers, and hung on in the end. Adkins Hanover, early leader, but uh, it is short-lived. It's Century Invictus hammered. I mean, hammered down to 8-5 to five here from the 10-1 to one morning line. Did draw a better post here, but... Uh, the form recently has been kind of suspect. It was second start here in uh, Charlottetown, so we'll give him the acclimating mile. But uh, he was a well-meant winner on the engine here, repelling some serious late pressure for Jason Hughes, who doubles up here, and he goes to the well. Three-year-old by Better's Delight here with his fourth win of the season, 156 and three. A big trip for Century Invictus here. And it's going to be Windermere best man flying late from three wide. Redmond Doucette, a Gold Cup and Saucer finalist tonight. Tight for the uh, show five. Melanie, Melanie's magic between them with Atkins Hanover fourth. It's Century and Victress and the Blue Knight in the mayor's pace.
Now returning to the 10th race winner's circle, number three is Century Invictus. They facing Gelding, the three-year-old son of Better's Delight from the McArdle Dam Strike Accord. All by Tommy Collings of Mount Stewart and John Collings of Brutonelle. The Blue Knight, Jason Hughes, has his second winner on the night for the double. Time of the mile, 156 and three. Joining us at trackside, the mayor of the city of Charlottetown, his worship, Philip Brown. That's the mayor's space cooler presentation.